Okay. So it is our next question that this is a match the following. Match the following and this is for economic geology that is economic deposits. Here you can see economic deposits with their places of occurrence. In the group 2 you can see the place of occurrence. So we need to find which mineral or deposit occurs in which place. So this iron ore as we know iron ore is found in Bellary that we have already known because iron ore deposits are very common in Bellary. The next is base metals. Base metals that is we have already learned base metals will be found among this it is Rampura Aucha that is base metals then chromate chromate deposit is very important as we know that is in Sukhinda Sukhinda deposit Sukhinda chromate deposit is very important there we have seen banded magnetite deposits so Sukhinda chromate is very important then uranium finally it is for Baden okay so the answer will be 4 3, 2, 1. Here you can see 4, 3, 2, 1. So D will be the answer for this question. That is iron ore, bellary, base metal, rampura, Aucha, chromate. Chromate is a sukhinda. As everyone knows, uranium is for button. This will be the answer for this message following. And this question is from economic geology. Okay, that you have to keep in mind economic geology. Then here is the next question. This question is from structural geology as we know. Select the answer that is a correct match. You should have to match the correct with this three types of unconformities that is gray bands. Okay. Now see here gray bands are sediments. Here you can see the gray. These are sediments and the plus indicates. Okay. This is actually igneous rock. Yes. This is quite confusing because its diagram is given. So we should have to keep in mind the definitions of all these three unconformities then only we will be able to plot the answer whether which one is right or not so from this it's easy to understand an angular unconformity from among those three we can easily remember the thing that is angular unconformity why we can easily understand angular uncon unconformity is that it separates two types of strata one which is inclined or highly dipping strata overlined by a horizontal strata so we know the definition of angular unconformity that is it might be an inclined one overlined by a horizontal strata. So this image will be by definition we can easily find out that this will be an highly inclined or highly dipping strata which is overlined by a horizontal strata. So this will be called as angular that is angular. Then. Next is non-conformity. Non-conformity, it separates overlaying sedimentary by underlying igneous or metamorphic terrain. As seen here, the plus indicates the igneous rock. Here we can see the plus. That means this might be igneous or metamorphic. In case, it might be metamorphic or igneous. Condition is that it should be a hard rock. This would be a hard rock. Okay. This will be a hard rock which is overlined by sedimentary rock. Which is overlined by sedimentary rock. So, this will have a possibility of having non conformity. Okay, then finally, disconformity. This will serve disconformity. So, the option that will be 2, 3, and 1. Option A will be the answer 2, 3, and 1. We should have to keep the definition of this 3. Then we have to correlate it with the given figures and we should have to conclude the answer. Okay.